you can share just now those other files and things that you'd like to have. I'm sure you can have from other. Uh, yeah, you want to read your sign? Yeah, read what it says. Right, we had one with patties, all kinds of patties. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies, shall we start? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's eat a rainbow is our topic for tonight. And it doesn't mean that we're waiting for a rainstorm and a rainbow to land its in <laughs> pot of gold on us. Um, it means that each food has different kinds of nutrients based on its color, which is really kind of interesting. Um, and we're going to talk about that a little bit later. But for right now, before things get too warm and too cold, um, we are going to talk about what we made today. Because we have lots of things for you to sample. Um, the demonstration that I'm going to be doing is making the, quote, chicken for a chicken salad. It's a CHIP recipe. CHIP is a program for cardiac health. Um, and it's a recipe that came from that that I got years ago. And I use it for lots of things. And I found a couple other recipes. The little guys there with the, uh, the Tex-Mex things, those are what I use it in the most if I'm not making chicken salad. Um, and the chicken salad, so the recipe says chicken salad, but then it tells you how to make what I'm going to show you how to make today. Okay. Um, but what we have is we have a vegetable soup that's vegetables, um, beans, garbanzo beans, and pasta. We have latkes, which I did a little bit wrong. <laughs> I didn't read my recipe all the way through when I started and I mixed some things together I wasn't supposed to. It, they have potatoes, beetroot, zucchini, and carrots. And what I was supposed to have done was made three piles of potatoes and then one put zucchini and one put beetroot and then one put carrots, but they're all mixed together. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> be fine. if you like potato pancakes, which is what a latke is, um, you'll like those, I hope. Um, this is a chicken salad that has um, craisins and celery and grapes in it, and the um, sauce in it is uh, low-fat yogurt. Yeah, that one. Actually, that might be the full-fat yogurt. Um, you have to look at the recipe. One of the recipes uses low-fat and one uses full-fat. This is made with what I'm going to show you how to make. This one is, I, I think that one is just beautiful. I love the colors. That is definitely a rainbow of vegetables. Those were done in the oven. The squash is done for a little bit longer, and then you do the other vegetables, throw them all in, put all the nice seasonings on them, and put them in. This is a rainbow slaw, and it has Sugar snap peas in there, it's got cilantro in there, so you, I know you don't like cilantro, so you won't want that one. Um, <laughs> you don't like it? I can't do it. Oh, really? It, um, lots of peppers and, and cabbage, all kinds of good things. This one um, has some of the chicken stuff in it, as well as um, corn, and, and this one, the one thing we decided on this one when we mixed it up a little earlier, we'll see how it is now that it's been in the fridge for a little bit after I put the dressing on. I think if I was going to make that full recipe again, I would probably double the dressing. Um, partially because... This is Carpenter? Yes. Make sure your people don't have a peanut allergy. Okay. Nobody has a peanut allergy, do you? No. Yeah. Good. Um, this one also, because the chicken is in it, the one thing, when you make the chicken salad, that one, that one, or those little guys, or the regular chicken salad recipe that's in your um, packet, I find that I always, because the chicken stuff is a little bit drier than real chicken is, mm. you have to put a little bit more mayonnaise in the case of that, or um, 
Greek yogurt, yogurt, like I put in that one, I put a little bit more than what the recipe called for to get it to the consistency that I like chicken salad to be at. These are wraps, and they have cheddar cheese, very thinly sliced. The poor girl that had to slice it for me, it did not want to slice that thin, but it did. It took her a while. Um, and all kinds of vegetables. Real, and real cheddar cheese. Real cheddar cheese. Okay. Our vegans aren't here tonight. Okay. So there are a few things here that are vegan, but there are some that aren't as well. Um, this is Green Goddess. It's supposed to go with those. Um, this is an olive hummus that's made from scratch. This has an olive hummus that's on the tortilla when you first start putting everything else on top. Um, that one was a commercial made one that I bought at Walmart. It's called Marketplace. Um, and it's, it's not bad for an all. It has a nice, it's a nice flavor to it and the ingredients were good. There weren't a bunch of weird things in it. Um, like I said, these are my little goodies. It's actually a Pampered Chef recipe that I adapted to be vegetarian. Um, and then that fruit salad, which just looks absolutely yummy. So that's what we have. Now, a reminder that I always remind you guys at the beginning, this is a tasting, so don't think you're at a potluck and go, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you won't be able to eat it all. What I want you to be able oh, to Oh, we can't take it home? You can take some of it. certainly can. Um, if not, it will be here for potluck on Sabbath. Yes, um, okay. <laughs> the uh, take a, just a bite or two and then if you really like something and you want to come back and get more of it you're more than welcome but so that you can at least taste what the different recipes taste like and see what you like and what you don't like and I don't expect you that you're gonna like everything that's up here if you do that's fantastic but uh, that doesn't usually happen because people have different tastes uh, we were playing with the soup a little bit thinking what we would do a little bit different with it because it's to me, it needs more flavor. It has so many vegetables in it, though, that I don't know. We thought some cumin would be really good in there, but I had already taken the cumin home last mm -hmm. night, so we mm -hmm. mm -hmm. were out of luck on that one. But we added a little more salt and pepper to it, and I think it's, we got it pretty good. <coughs> if you cook very much, you know that you do that with recipes. You have to tweak them sometimes mm -hmm. to get them to the flavor you like. Mm -hmm. I always try and make the recipes, the first time I make them, as close as possible to what the recipe says. Then the next time, who knows? Mm -hmm. Because I may say, well, I liked that, but I would like it more with some of this in it or some of that in it. And that's just what cooks do. And everybody has their own taste buds that they want to make happy. So we'll have prayer, and then you ladies can, and gentlemen, and for those of you who don't know, that's my husband, Marshall, um, can come up and, and sample and see what you think, and spend some time visiting while you eat, and then when it, just about everybody's done, I will do the demonstration and then I'll do the informational part at the end. Okay. Dear Father, we thank you for the beautiful sunshine. And we know the wind serves a purpose too, so we thank you for it as well. Even though it seems like it's just kind of blowing things around at the moment. We are grateful for each one here. We thank you for that they've come and we ask that you please be the, with the ones who usually come and aren't here tonight. May they have a blessing wherever they are. And may you bless this food to our body's needs that we may serve you better. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs> the plates are over there. There's hot water um, in the thing and there's things that you can if you want something hot. If you'd rather something cold, there is some cold.